happening right now. Police are fanning out across local communities across the country, and they're not making arrests. They're rather working with you. Yeah, they have a new campaign aimed at problems caused by a lack of gun safety, which they say those problems are increasing in our area. And 10 News reporter Tommy Lopez is live tonight in Roanoke with more on this. One of the many national nights out with their call to action. So Tommy, how much emphasis are they putting on finding solutions? It's a big point of emphasis tonight as police are saying that spreading gun violence awareness is becoming more and more important in their communities. They'll make that pitch at events like these where a neighborhood watch group here at Huff Lane Park is grilling some hot dogs and getting ready to speak to officers tonight. They say one of the ways that families can stay safe is to have a gun lock and they'll be giving away across the Roanoke Valley more than a thousand of these tonight. It is all of our responsibility to make sure that our communities remain safe. As this new campaign launches, police say more and more accidents involving guns are hurting or killing children and teens, and stolen guns are being used in later crimes. I think it's an issue that we have to understand and speak to more often. Dozens of officers in Roanoke City and County and Salem and Vinton are out right now hearing from the community and pushing gun safety. As our kids go back into school, there's opportunities in the schools to you know, have parents and students together, uh, and really I think it's a, just a great time to, to send a positive message about being safe. They're urging people to put guns in a safe, lock them up, and if they're in cars, lock those too. We're naturally curious as young kids, so the idea is to remove temptation and demystify weapons. Police say the two mass shootings over the weekend add immediacy to all gun safety topics. We need to recognize that we've got some work to do. Uh, we've got some work to do legislatively. We've got some work to do in the criminal justice system, and we've got some work to do as members of our own communities. Jones also says that that personal responsibility extends to situations where we might have concerns about people in our communities. He says if people have those concerns, they can always bring them to law enforcement. 